I just had an operation. Finally, the patient is safe. It will be bad luck to pick up this red envelope. It's the 21st century. I don't believe in it. Ah. Ah. I'm convinced. <gasps> Didn't I hit by a car? Uh, I didn't die. What is this? Ah! Is there anyone? Let me out of here. I'm still alive. Amstrad's two daughters were born with a lingerie phoenix light. One of the daughters had a phoenix character that could help with the country's future. She could ascend to the throne. My daughter must be the one. Your daughter can only be a fool for the rest of her life. Mom! <laughs> After drinking this ecstasy, take her to bury with Prince Jeremy. So there's really a crossover in this universe. How is it that I've become a princess to be buried in a fool who's poisoned by that mother? Is there anyone? L let me out of here. This fool is awake. Let me out of here. But it's a dead end. You'd better accept her fate. I'm the only one with the Phoenix character in this Armstrong's. You'd better save her breath. <laughs> this Sophia Armstrong's really like her since I'm given. A chance to reborn. How can I accept her fate as such? I want to be alive. Why does he have a body temperature? <sighs> it seems I'm not destined to die yet. He's not died. He got poisoned and is in a fixed state of death. Is anyone there? Open the coffin. The prince didn't die yet. The only way to out now is to save him. I don't even have a needle. How can I save him? Where, where did this come from? Is it possible that this bracelet is a treasure? I'll have whatever I want. What's going on? Why isn't he awake yet? He shouldn't be. Who are you? Greetings, Prince Jeremy. I'm your burial wife. What burial wife? Didn't I just pass out? <sighs> Hurry, let your man to open the coffin. Otherwise, you'll die in here. Is there anyone? Hello? It sounds like the prince. What's going on? He came back from the death. I'm still alive. How dare you guys attempt to murder me? Prince Jeremy, you're still alive. Is it because of the princess that you came back to life? Ah. <laughs> so it's really because of the princess. Get me out of here. Yes, your highness. Remove all of these. Sure. Your Highness are alive. I'll remove these right away. Eh? I'm still here. Get me out of here too. Bring her to my room. Yes, Your Highness. <sighs> Isn't she a fool? How can she say such clear words? Who are you exactly? My name is Shirley Armstrong. I'm the daughter of royal physician. I'm also your barrel wife. Didn't you know about this? According to my memory, Thomas has two daughters. I know one of them, and the other one is a fool. Tell me, who exactly are you? I'm that fool. <laughs> Killer. 
This is Prince Maniac. I saved him. Even if he doesn't believe me, he should have investigated. Must he kill me? I am telling the truth. I am Shirley. I was acting a fool all along just to survive. Your Highness, she is indeed sent here by the people from Armstrong Residence. You can't kill me. If you kill me, you will die too. How dare you threaten me? I'm not. I'm just stating facts. The poison in your body isn't fully gone yet. Poison? <laughs> Are you saying that the reason I fainted wasn't because of my body condition, but because I was poisoned? What are you talking about? It's obvious you get hundred days dispersion. Hundred days dispersion. Hundred days dispersion also known as soul destroyer. It's a very strange poison. Its symptoms are very similar to body failure. That's why it's very hard to detect. Until death, people will still think they died of body failure. You pretend to be a fool but skilled in medicine. You fooled everyone. This is a poison that even your father couldn't detect. Yet you know so well about it. You really are something. <laughs> Maybe I'm just gifted. It seems to me that this isn't gifted, but a setup. A setup that you and your father have planned for years. Or else, why would your father let you marry a dead man? What? Prince Jeremy is so strange. It's a pity he's not a writer. Tell me, what do you want? Why did you poison Prince Jeremy? Are you working for Prince Jonathan and Prince Gordon? People in Prince Jeremy's residence are all indeed crazy. Hmm, you are right. This is a setup. I'm the one who poisoned Prince Jeremy. I am the one who poisoned Prince Jeremy. Go on. I fell in love with you at the first sight. That's why I poisoned you, and asked to be your better wife. That I can save you just in time. My only motive is to be with you. Everyone has only one chance to tell me the truth. I'll give you a second chance. If you talk nonsense again, you are dead. Everything I said is true. I'm not lying. I didn't expect you to do all this just to get married to me. I'll fulfill your wish today. Huh? Take it off. What? I I'll leave now. You are my wife now. Why, not dare to serve me? Your Highness. You don't have to be in such a rush. I just come out from the coffin. I'm beauty now. Let me take a bath first. Oh. Moment of this worth a thousand gold. We don't have to go through all the trouble. Besides, love can form through time. We have all the time in the world. We'll get to know each other Damn slowly. It. Not only he's sick in the head, he's also sex a dick. Am I really going to lose my virginity tonight? Your Highness, I'm afraid you are deeply poisoned. The body is too weak now. I'm weak? Why don't you test it on yourself? Snap out of it. If he isn't good looking, I'd have stopped him with a needle already. <sighs> Bastard. How dare you to try to use force on me? Serves you right to be poisoned. I told you you are weak. If it isn't because I want to survive, plus you are quite good looking, I would have already run away. It's finally time for me to do whatever I want. I wanted to have a good night's sleep. However, I'm a responsible doctor. And cherish good body. I mean life. Who is me. this? Play with me. Ah, don't worry, Prince Jordan. This is my full daughter. Just a burial princess for Prince Jeremy, right? Yes, Your Highness. You're really cruel. You won't even let your daughter survive. This is a rare opportunity. Plus, she's just a fool. I'm sure death means freedom to her. Plus, her death will bring my status one step higher in the palace, and I'll be able to help Your Highness even more. She will die for honor. 
I understand your good intentions, however, you must know that this plan is very important to me. I won't allow any mistakes to happen. Don't worry, Prince Jordan. With this, Prince Jeremy will never wake up. Time is gold, bring her there quickly. Yes, your highness. What are you doing? You couldn't even look after a person. Father. Enough! Hurry up and send her to Prince Jeremy's residence. Yes. <laughs> the show is going to die soon, yet she still got me in trouble. <laughs> Why are you getting angry with a dying person? I'm just angry looking at her. She's going to be buried with Prince Jeremy. Enough. I know you like Prince Jeremy, but as you've seen, Prince Jeremy is dead. What's important now is how you hold on to Prince Jonathan. How lucky of you. His father is literally the worst. As for her stepmother and sister who always bullied her, are shameless too. Mom! <coughs> Don't worry. Since I took over your body, I'll help you get your revenge. I'll definitely avenge you. From today onwards, Prince Jeremy is a nightmare. Prince Jeremy, you mustn't let me down. I am the first lady of Armstrong's. How dare you stop me? I won't let Prince Jeremy kick you out. <laughs> How dare a concubine's doctor dares to call herself the first lady? She's just in trouble. I'm the first lady of the Armstrongs. How dare you stop me? I'll let Prince Jeremy to kick Mr. you out. Mr. Armstrong, isn't it inappropriate to you to come here at this hour? Princess and the prince have already gone to bed. Just a new guard. Do you want to die? Can't you see this token in my hand? Sophia? Is this Sophia? Sophia, let's see what's me and Prince <laughs> Jeremy. You Miss see, Armstrong. How dare you climb on Prince Jeremy's bed? How dare you stop me from slapping her? Do you want a death wish? It's good. Isn't this a cliche thing of the evil female character in those turn back movies? I'll teach you a lesson. <laughs> you shall. You. You're not stupid anymore. You are not stupid anymore. <laughs> hey, Sophia, do I act well? Are you playing game with me? Ah. <laughs> 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 Sir Jackson, stop this madman now! Enough. Put her away. <laughs> Prince Jeremy, I am the Phoenix Maiden. She's just a fool. Only I can help you win the sword. You Enough. can't. What if you are the Phoenix Maiden? The person I married is Shirley. No matter how she becomes, she will always be my wife. Stop using your token from today on wars to come to my residence. Prince Jeremy, that's because she desperately wanted to marry you and I couldn't be her wife because I have responsibility of the Phoenix Maiden. Miss Armstrong, it was your father who wanted to cure me and your mother who wanted to matchmake us. That's why they exceptionally asked for this token, to enter and exit freely. However, I'm not interested in you. Sure enough, it's another case of self flirting He... <laughs> Fool. You are a fool! Prince Jeremy wants to hug me again? How embarrassing! <laughs> are you leaving, Miss Armstrong? I'll send you off. Oh, why did you faint again? Oh, I'm halfway through the treatment. Prince Jeremy, you are so good looking. Don't worry, I'll help you cure your poison. She looked after me for the entire night. Is she really interested in me? Prince Jeremy, His Majesty has the order you and the princess must go to the palace this instant. Why is he suddenly alive? Surely he is already carrying the scented pouch. Could it be? I'm here to greet you, father and mother. 
Jeremy. How do you feel now? Thank you for your concern, Father. I'm feeling very well. Doctor Armstrong, please check what's wrong with Jeremy. Why is he getting better than he was? Doctor Armstrong, how exactly is Jeremy's health? Your Majesty, Prince Jeremy's health condition has improved slightly. Is Prince Jeremy's life no longer in danger? It's difficult to predict at the moment, but Royal Hospital will do the best. I believe Prince Jeremy's health will become better. Mm. Mm. Thomas Armstrong, do you realize your mistake? Please show me the way, Your Majesty. Prince Jeremy is the most honored warrior in the kingdom. Your full daughter is no match to even be buried with Prince Jeremy. Think you have no respect for royal decency. Your Majesty, I had no other option but to propose Shirley to marry Prince Jeremy. Calm down, Your Majesty. Sophia Armstrong is the Phoenix Maiden. It's understandable that Doctor Armstrong wouldn't dare to bury her. Well, that makes sense. How do you think this should be resolved? Since Prince Jeremy's body has now recovered, the marriage is no longer valid. I agree to the withdrawal. You are in such a hurry to withdraw. Are you afraid something's not in place with you? I'll punish you. <laughs> Daddy, Daddy. The sentence of Shay was gone. No more sentence of Shay. Shirley, <laughs> don't talk nonsense. <laughs> Daddy, I want to send a pouch. I want to send a pouch. Shirley, don't mess around in the royal court. I want to send a pouch. Someone come over. Princess Shirley's disorder that comes up in the court punished her with thirty lashes. I want to send a pouch. Cut off this marriage. <laughs> Father, I think that. Do you have anything to say? No. Get away first. After three days, the Sun Kingdom will come to challenge us again. The competition was supposed to be organized by you, but now it's been handed over to Prince Jonathan. I have decided that whoever can defeat Sun Kingdom will get a talisman of Army Nirvana. Thanks, Father. I'm sure Prince Jonathan will be able to defeat the Sun Kingdom. Yes. Dismissed. Is this what we call reality? Jeremy. Your Majesty, Prince Jeremy's positions have gone. Damn it! How did he just die for no reason? What's going on? Your Majesty, I've heard that Prince Jeremy recovered from his death last night because of Princess Shirley. I think perhaps the marriage between Prince Jeremy and Princess Shirley has been ended. So Prince Jeremy has fallen ill again. Someone come over. Pass on my command. No more withdrawals. Quickly take Shirley Armstrong and Prince Jeremy to the coffin for the marriage. Ah, uh, no. Go for it, Princess Shirley. Prince Jeremy's life depends on you. He was fine during the day. How do you suddenly lose your pulse? Well, you have a conscience. In fact, I know I'm beautiful and kind-hearted, but I just hope that you can be my support and have nothing improper to do with me. We are talking about the scented pouch today. Thomas Armstrong was obviously terrified. Tell me, what's so strange about the scented pouch? I'll explain to you later. If I ever find something wrong with you again, you'll be dead. Damn it. This man's so moody. I must leave him as soon as possible. Get some sleep first. Prince Jeremy being made alive again by Princess Shirley! Prince Jeremy, the Crown Prince is here. Watch your mouth. <sighs> Greetings, Your Highness. <laughs> He's not a good guy. Let me have some fun with him. Jeremy. I didn't believe it when I heard that you and the foolish princess were having a marriage in a coffin. But now that we have met, you do have a unique taste. Your Highness, surely is joking. I wonder anything that you are coming today, Jeremy. Since you were sick, 
The talisman of farming Nirvana has been kept by our father, but you are the warrior hero of the last area. Since I am in charge of this event this time, I'll make sure you're in good health. So, I've arranged for this tonic to be prepared for you. Prince Jeremy is too sick to have a tonic. Prince Jonathan is obviously not having any good intention. Prince Jonathan, I know myself very well. I'm afraid I'll disappoint your highness's goodwill. Hey. Since it's a good will, just drink it. Eh, what is this? It smells so good. You fool, what are you doing? Uh, mm, yuck, it's not good. Burns me. Please don't be angry, your highness. Prince Shirley is a fool. I hope you'll be understanding on this. Keep an eye on your princess. If I defeat the Sun Kinami in a competition, the talisman of Army Nirvana will be mine. Your highness, not to mention the talisman. As the crown prince, everything will be yours. Are you okay? Who told you to do that? There's obviously something wrong with the medication. It's a tonic. It's just you're too weak to take it. If you drink this, it's not good for you. I can't let him bully my man. Do you really care about me? I... Your Highness, Thomas Armstrong is here to meet Prince Shirley. It's really a busy day. Shirley, where's the scented pouch that I gave you? It was robbed. It's all gone. No wonder it didn't work. Turn out it was robbed. You must protect it. Don't get robbed, okay? Go home. I want to go home. Good girl. I'll pick you up in a few days. But you must protect this scented pouch. Otherwise, I won't bother you, okay? Go home. I wanna go home. Ah. You old bastard. Wait for me. I'll give this to Jeremy and let him punish you. I'm afraid it's difficult for him to believe what I'm saying. If he doesn't believe me, will he chop me off? No, no, no. It's better to avoid trouble whenever possible. I'd rather wait until I find some evidence. Your Highness, I just saw Thomas Armstrong and Princess Shirley having a secret meeting in a room. He even gave her a scented pouch. I think there's something wrong with Princess Shirley. Is this all a disguise for you? Your Highness, since she likes to act like a fool, let her be a real one. But do it in secret, yes. I heard that Prince Jeremy has been back from death. Could this be the strength of Phoenix Maiden? Why? The sword of princess should be mine. That's enough. Look at yourself. You didn't look like the eldest lady of the Armstrongs. Keep in mind, you are the Phoenix Maiden. No matter who is crowned dead, your future is assured. Mom, but I truly love Prince Jeremy. I wish Prince Jeremy could be the king. Sophia, you should focus on Prince Jonathan. That's true, but if we broke off this way, we will lose the connection to Prince Jeremy. Prince Jonas is not the preferred one, so there's some doubt about who will be the king. What's a big deal? All men are the same. Just apply the same method when you hook up with Prince Jonas and Prince Jordan to Prince Jeremy. Don't worry. I've arranged everything. Just go tonight. All right, Mom. Sir Jackson! Sir Jackson! Princess Shirley has gone to Prince Jeremy's room! It seems she really wants to harm Prince Jeremy. Let's go! Should I tell Prince Jeremy about this? There's always a sense of uncertainty. He's feeling so worried. I've already mixed the drug into Prince Jeremy's food. The drug has already kicked in. Is it? I have to disag. Prince Jeremy, I'm coming. Wow, she's going to throw herself at him. Looks like the drug have kicked in. Keep her voice down. Don't make Prince Jeremy up. He said, to secret deal with Princess Shirley. Let's go. Damn it. 
Am I going to be killed again just because I had a secret? Don't go. Don't go. This is a day as a single woman with a brilliant mind. I'm going to get myself into this situation? No way! Absolutely not! It's so hot. Don't go. I'm a doctor. If I don't save him, he'll die. <sighs> but... His hands are so warm. Uh, I think I'll just have to sacrifice myself to the medical profession. <laughs> From the sound of Prince Jeremy's room, he's probably having his honeymoon with Princess Shirley again. So lucky that I caught a wrong person. Let's get her out of here. We can't let her ruin the relationship between Prince Jeremy and Princess Shirley. Go for it, your highness. How dare you poison Prince Jeremy? Your highness, please forgive me. Tell me, who are you? Your highness, I can't tell you. My whole family's lives are in his head. Even if you don't tell me, I know you're from the Armstrong's residence. Take him down. And help him save his family. Yes, your highness. Seems like the Armstrongs is full of tricks. What do you mean? Are you suspecting me? I saved their life. Your Highness, you've been getting better since you had your marriage. Get lost! Yes, Your Highness. Stop it. Since you don't believe me, I'll leave too. Hold on. Don't worry about what happened last night. I was only trying to save your life. You don't have to be responsible. For my own virginity. I will take responsibility for you. In that case, why don't we make a deal? I can save you from the poison. I can also help you win a great victory in the international event. Once you get the talisman and take the sword, we'll divorce. I swear Thomas Armstrong, he approached me yesterday and gave me the scented pouch. The drug in the scented pouch is a simulant for the toxin in your body. The person who also right Thomas to do this was Prince Jordan. So Prince Jeremy, you should stop looking for my trouble after this. Thomas is your father. Are you trying to kill your own family? He's not a good father. My mother was killed by Mary Bennett with his consent. I want to seek justice for my mother. I also want to stay alive. But... You are too proud of yourself. Although this is a civil and military competition between Sun Kingdom envoys and us. It's important for our country's authority. If you lose, father will criticize us. It doesn't matter if you let me stay. I can save your life by treating your illness. You'll see if I'm any good in this event. If you lose the event or if anything happens to me due to your mistakes, I'll let you die for it. If I can't do what I say, you can have me killed. Deal. Let go of my hand. Then I will wait and see. Walkie talkie has my cell phone. Just wait and see. What are you giving me? I got it by chance in a parallel dimension. It can read my mind. You can listen to my instructions. What's the parallel dimension? It means... The Sun Kingdom and Voice have come to see us. Isn't the Sun Kingdom Sunken in my world? Let's see how I'll defeat you. The Envoys have traveled a long way to our Latveria Kingdom. Let's see what will happen in our incarnation event. Your Majesty, let's not talk about grand words. Let's get started. Then let's start. Alright, let's go. Since we're in Latveria, we'll compete in poetry. 
The candidate has to get the meaning of the previous sentence to continue his own sentence for the poem. Who's the challenger from Latveria? Father, since I preside over this meeting, let me take the challenge. Okay, I'll start with the first line. There is the extreme wealth inequality in society. This. As expected, you are still not good enough. Step down. Can anyone in Latveria answer the first line? It seems Yunshen had an average mastery of poetry. I'm good at this poem. This? What is this lady doing? Hey, I have confidence in this. You go ahead. Father, I'm willing to give it a try. Prince Jeremy, please answer. Society since long time ago also just are lonely, but only these who can drink can be famous. Society since long time ago all sages are alone, but only those who can drink can be famous. The name may be remarkable for its articles, but officers should rest when they are awake and sick. Don't say Don't there are no say heroes, there are among, no heroes women. among women. Even the sword, Even the sword, the sword is sounding injustice. out. It's injustice. See the little miller shafts make a beautiful sound. Pretty girl with Martin Zeta seizing a rule. Victory of the frontier is not a coincidence. Since the army of the competitors is small enough, you are being so drastic. I'm just telling the truth. Great. 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 <laughs> Prince Jeremy is such a genius in literature and martial arts. Yes, Prince, Prince Jeremy's literary accomplishment is even higher than that of other princes. I have one more question. Do you dare to answer it? A poet have a drink facing a magnificent and a clear picture of the sky in alt. Oh my god, this is too simple. I did not learn my language for nothing. Is Prince Jeremy unable to answer? A the battle and the feeling of wanting to kill the enemy, enemy. review great ambitions, restoring the country. Restoring the country. Country's virtues in beautiful women is a good match for a gent looking for a worthy person, but is eager to recruit talent. 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 You can't answer, right? You. Now keep going. Listen. There is the unwavering faith in love. A woman never made her husband. After getting married, the moon makes people think about his hometown. Silent autumn's rose rain in a secluded atmosphere. There is a mythical world through the peaks and stars. The scenery is magnificent, with secret rendezvous from twilight to dawn. Although I'm the favorite of today, I can't forget the kindness of the past. I lost. Great! Prince Jeremy is doing well. <laughs> That's awesome. The poetry is the treasure of Latveria. Sun Kingdom only learned it halfway. How dare you show off like this? Does this count as a victory for Latveria? <laughs> Your Majesty, I have heard that a warrior in Latveria is great. Our warrior in Sun Kingdom would like to try our hand at it. Why don't we wrestle in the next match? But our warrior in Latveria, Prince Jeremy, is seriously ill. I'm afraid he can't. Father, I'm willing to give it a try for the honor of Latveria. Crown Prince, you may try. <laughs> the Crown Prince of Latveria is nothing more than that. Our warrior in Sun Kingdom is really brave. Does anyone else in Latveria dare to fight? <laughs> Is there anybody in Latveria who dares to fight? I'll do it. Wow, Prince Jeremy, that was fun. I want to play too. I also want to have a hug. This is nonsense. This fool is definitely here to humiliate the royal family. Father, I think Jeremy brought Princess Charlotte here to humiliate our kingdom. Someone come to take her away. Don't be angry, Father. Mm -hmm. I want to play too. It's no fun. It's not fun at all. He can't even beat my princess. What kind of warrior is that? But... 
She's a fool, isn't she? That's counted as well. Well, that's one more competition. What competition? Since Latveria and his own kingdom are friends, it's important to have cultural exchanges between both sides. Why don't we have a listening competition? Both sides will send their envoys to write each other's language on a piece of paper. If there is a single word difference, it's considered a lose, okay? Even nine years of compulsory education isn't sufficient. We have to take a song contest. If Latveria wins against Sun Kingdom, we'll be convinced. We'll give three feet of our land to Latveria. But if you lose, you will have to pay a tax to us. Everyone in Latveria, do you accept this bet? It's a joke. It's Suka's language that difficult. I'll prove to you guys today. I'll show you the power of our cactus. You go, Prince Jeremy, you go. I'm willing to try. The now get started now. Aka, Josetsha. Kilo, Josetsha. Tylo, Josetsha. Such an easy score. This off. Why is Envoy silent now? Since you got it right, it's your turn to ask a question. Alright, here's the deal. In the mystical tale, there are 24 Kirkley spirits. I'll spell them, and you know them down. It's Fluist, Wimps, Wraith, Spook, Spect, Zeph, Eth, Mist, Shades, Fence, Speam, Ear, Loom, Whist, Haunt, Bench, Tweez, Mewis, Hush, Jinx, Brost, Yo, Mwow, and Fleo. Go ahead and writing them down. You must be cheating. There's no way there are these 24 words. Our Luminara Empire culture is vast and profound. Spending thousands of years, we've created thousands of words, endlessly, verses. You're a sunken aren't you? Found of the arts of heavens and spirits. How come you don't even know these words? Envoy does this kind of thing, but he can't read these words. You. Now, who else dares to make fun of the might of Latveria, huh? We lost. Please excuse me. Wait. The best promised to us. When are you going to realize them? Seven days later, our country will hand over a portion of our land to Latveria. Let's go. Prince Jonathan, today it should be you who compete with the Sun Kingdom's envoy, but you are not even good at writing and martial arts. Throughout the battle, it was Prince Jeremy and Princess Shirley who won against the arrogant ambassadors. Jeremy, thank you for your hard work. Don't mention it. If that's the case, with your body recovered, in the addition of your brilliance, the tiger seal of the army of Nirvana will be returned to you. Your Majesty, no. Although Prince Jeremy excels in every aspect, he, after I, married an idiot. I'm not worried about other things. I only feel that it's hard to stop. People to talk bad about him. He, after all, married an idiot. I only feel that it's hard to stop people from talking bad about him. Fine. We'll discuss the tiger seal later. However, with Jeremy getting well, staying at home is a waste of his talent. He'll now be responsible for the Imperial City Sink. Ha ha ha. Thank you for today. Your Highness, please lie down. It's time to cure poison. Lie down here? This is not a good place indeed. How about coming to my room, Your Highness? You! What kind of person do you think I am? You! Take off your clothes, Your Highness. What? In this broad daylight, you think I'm nothing more than just a pervert? Why, ever since the last time, and you still want more? The herbal bath with acupuncture can help you nullify the poison in you rapidly. You keep saying that you're not a pervert, but that's all you think about. I already said it, your highness. you still not able now. You!
About recently, you've been doing me a lot of favors. I wonder what else do you want? Of course, it's going to be curing you, acquire the tiger soul, and then divorce. I mean, right now. The original host lived a terrible life. It's now time for vengeance. Forget it if you don't have any. I want to go back as a princess. For vengeance. Your Highness. Your Highness. Please, Jeremy, I've been waiting for you for a long time. <laughs> Prince Jeremy, she's just an idiot. Why are you so good to her? I am the princess. Everyone here should salute and bow to me. So I am too. Did you not hear the princess? <laughs> Greetings, Princess Shirley. Greetings, Princess Shirley. <laughs> oh, darling, I'm scared. You little shit. Prince Jeremy's just a spare, but he's not mean for you either. I swear I'll have you die the pauper. Seems like your family's upbringing is no better. Greetings, Princess Shirley. <laughs> Uh, why did you grab me? I just want to take you to the garden to have some girls talk. The garden has flowers and fish. I want some fishes. Okay, go ahead. I'll be right here. Let's go. Okay, let's go. What a splendid acting. Did Prince Jeremy treat you well? Not good. He always pressed me against the bed. I couldn't move. It wasn't comfortable at all. What did you say? Prince Jeremy and you are sitting on the same bed? Yeah, darling swears with me every night. But every morning, I wake up feeling very pain. You shameless wretch, how dare you stay my Prince Jeremy? Just wait. You can't stand it already? This is just the beginning. Can you please tell me, how did Prince Jeremy bully you? What the? Is she insane? She's blindly asking that. Um, I'm too shy to say. Carl, take a look at this, a big fish! You're asking for it. Oh, save me! Please help me! Sophia! Help me! Sophia! Are you helping me to catch some fish? That's good! I have some fish for dinner tonight! Shirley, are you alright? I'm fine! Sophia, to your right! Go catch it! Sophia! Sophia! Help me! Go help her! Hurry! Get her! Help me! Fish! My fish is gone! It's all your fault! You can't even catch a fish! They all run away! Ah! You wretch! How dare you hit me! Ah. Hating princess, do you know what crime you are committing? Please, Jeremy, you must speak up for me! She's bullying me! Your Highness, she's just playing a game with me! Your Highness, kiss! Your Highness, hug! <laughs> Don't ask for too much! Hurry! Take Sophia to get changed! This is nice! Have some more! After eating this bamboo shoot, your face will turn red and turn ugly! By then, Prince Jeremy will hate you even more. It's an euro, so something must be off. Something must be wrong with the bamboo shoots. Uh, uh, this is not nice at all. If you like it, have more. Eat more. You stupid idiot. Let go of my girl. 
<laughs> Darling, you're pulling me. It hurts. <laughs> but Jeremy, I'm just very concerned about my daughter. Shirley Armstrong is crossing the line. Just look at her. Look at what she's done to our Sophia. Please, Jeremy, I was trying to be nice to her. But she stuffed my face into the dishes. She's unworthy. She's not worthy of the position as a princess. Your mouth is so stink. Here, let me help you wash it. Here, come on. <laughs> Jeremy, help me. Whether or not Shirley is bitten by my wife is not for you to say. Shirley, that's enough. Come over. <laughs> Prince Jeremy. Sophia Armstrong, you deliberately harmed Princess Shirley. You can't escape from this. I'll punish you with 50 lashes. Prince Jeremy, what are you talking about? Princess Shirley can't even eat bamboo shoots. I know all about it. Don't you know it? Prince Jeremy, I really don't know about this. Your Highness, Sophia didn't know anything about this. She's got the wrong idea. Please spare her, Your Highness. Your Highness, since Sophia is Shirley's sister, please forgive her. Don't punish her. She's my good sister. I want to treat her with the best food ever that she said. That's the one. She said it's the best. Brain over. Sophia, have it. It's really good. Or I'll punish you with 50 lashes. Sophia, eat up. Go ahead. Then, I'll leave with Princess Shirley first. Prince Jeremy, wait! The princess' condition is serious. Better let her personal maid Lily to take care of her. Let's go. Lady Shirley. What are you waiting for, you idiot? Why don't you get her out of here? Hmm. Glad you know yourself. You're not so. Damn you, you fool! How dare you slash me? Do you want to get beaten again? Ah! How dare you hit me? You are challenging your superiors. As your master, should I hit you? Compared to what you have done to me before, it would be reasonable even to kill you. What's the matter? Are you trying to ask me why I become so smart? I'm not the fool I used to be. Lady, I'm sorry. Lady, please forgive me. Please forgive me this time. I won't do it again. We'll settle our debt later. Now tell me, why did Thomas send you here? I don't know why he sent me here. Master sent me here just to take care of you. He didn't say anything else. I gave you a chance, but you're not good at it. If that's the case, there's no need for you to leave anymore. Lady, lady, I really don't know that Master asked me to keep an eye on Mr. Shea. He told me to keep it with you all the time and get back every two days to report your condition. That's all? That's all. Oscar. Your Highness. Take her out. Find a maid servant to teach her the rules of being a maid. I'll greet her later. Yes, Your Highness. Lady <clears throat> was sent by Thomas to spy on me. His purpose is to make sure I'm always wearing the same pouch. I decided to keep her and use her to deliver false news to Thomas to meet the seed Prince Jordan. Maybe then it could be a breakthrough for us to attack Prince Jordan. It's up to you. Do you trust me? I'll believe in anything you say. Your Highness, I have something important to report. Come in. Your Highness, the plague has recently spread to the outskirts of the city. Number of displaced people increased. The plague is spreading fast. The Royal Hospital is at its wit's end. First, stabilize the displaced people and distribute more grain. I'll go to Royal Court later to discuss what you do. Sure. Uh, we haven't got a talisman, yet the city tour is a big trouble. 
But now the plague and the displaced people are extremely important. If you can't solve this matter, it will be detrimental to you in the court. Fortunately, I have a plan. You do? Of course I do. Mother, Jeremy stole all the limelight at the last event. Luckily, father only asked him to defend the city. Now that a plague has struck, let's see what he'll do. Do you have an idea? I just want to see him make a fool of himself. Hmm. How can we attack the enemy when we are just sitting here? I do have an idea. Since the plague has scattered the people, what he must do is to stabilize the people to prevent a riot. Then you should publicize Prince Jeremy's marriage to a demented woman. Then say it's the source of the plague. When there are riots everywhere, then the ministers who support him write a petition. His majesty sure will punish them. Don't worry, mother. I got it. I'll have it done immediately. Be more meticulous. Don't let anyone catch you. I will also get to his majesty and say something about this. Don't worry, mother. I'll be careful. Your Highness, there's a big problem. What's wrong? Rumors are spreading among the people in the army, saying that you are on a spell of bewitched women, bringing shame to the royal family. And they say you are obsessed with lust. Even if four are not spread, this one led to the riots. Well, there are all kinds of rumors. There's no way our men can stop them. And many ministers submitted a petition. This morning, supporting the crown prince to handle the refugees, the matter has already reached the king's attention. Why are you laughing? It seems that I have some charm in the eyes of the people. Otherwise, why would Prince Jeremy be accused of being obsessed with Luz? Don't you think so? Do you? It seems like Prince Jeremy's eyes might need to be fixed as well. Well, I don't mind having someone to check on you. Your Highness, it's about time. You must do something. They are trying to use the rumors to take you down. So why don't we just go with the rumors and get the situation back on track? What do you mean? Since everyone says I'm a bewitched woman, I have to make myself a fairy. Looks like it's time for me to step in. What's the use of your highness stepping in? I think you're just being beaten to death by the mob. Oscar, I want you to spread the news that I've been on a night out with Prince Jeremy. This. Your highness, there's a riot outside the city. If both of you really go out, I'm afraid it's not a good idea. Go and do it. Yes, your highness. Are you not afraid? Well, I also need your cooperation. That's the witch. Kill her, kill her. Kill her, kill her. Kill her, kill her, kill her. New down. Please help us, goddess. Help us, please. Help us, goddess. The Princess Shirley Armstrong is my 88th disciple. The foolishness in her is a means of spiritual cultivation. By devoutly worshipping, you can be spared from diseases and have more abundance. I've given the medicine to the princess. Remember, everything shall be done for the princess. Your Highness, help me. Please, Your Highness, save us. Your Highness, save us. This is the medicine given to me by goddesses of mercy. How did it all fall to the ground? Thank you, fairy. Thank you, fairy. Thank you, fairy. The epidemic and the refugees have been fully controlled now. Even the rumors that widely spread before are no longer mentioned now. It is now rumored that the princess is a fairy being descended from the heavens to bless Latveria. Next, it's time to fulfill my promise for the talisman. I've been feeling much better lately. I believe the poison in my body has been mostly cleared by you. Prince Jeremy, there's no need to thank me. We we'll work together for mutual benefit. Prince Jeremy has been doing well lately. First, he defeated the envoys from Sun Kingdom, and he successfully resolved the issue of the epidemic and refugees. I believe the talisman now can be handed over to Prince Jeremy. I think the crown prince is the higher to the throne, and the best candidate to hold the talisman. I believe that Prince Jordan is steady in character and not only eager for achievements. It's best to let him keep the talisman. I think that it is more appropriate to entrust Prince Jeremy with the talisman for now. After all, there's a fairy in his residence who can help our country proposer. It's a deal. 
That's Mary Bennett is full of nonsense. She said the person who has the Phoenix character is actually her daughter, Sophie Armstrong. How dare she lie to me? It's that stupid daughter. And now she's being called a fairy. Fairy? How could that fool have the Phoenix character? Now Jeremy take advantage of it for nothing. I must kill that fool. Make it clean then. Prince Jordan. I, I. What's going on? How did that fool of yours become a fairy? I, I really don't know. Charlie Armstrong must be killed. Sure, I'll arrange it right away. Three days later. I'll let her die violently. Go to him. Are you alright? I'm all good. Is he sent by the queen to assassinate me? Not knowing yet. Aren't you a fool? What do you think? Who would have guessed that? The one causing all the fuss around Denacity turned out to be a regular person. You were lucky this time, but you'll meet your doom next time. Prince Jeremy, he's dead. Take him away. Double the guard at a residence. And summon Mia. Yes. Am I going to have my private guards from now on? From now on, you'll be responsible for her safety. Yes. Since you are so generous this time, let's go to bed. Since you are so generous this time, let's go to bed. Is Princess Shirley that bold? I'm still here in the room. Prince Jeremy, I'll take my leave first. I just wanted to help cure her injury. Why did she run away? Be quick. What do you think I am? What are you thinking about? You thought I was here to offer my body in service? Do you think you can do it with your current condition? You! You forcefully used your energy just now. Now the toxin in your body has reversed. So I advise that you better not let your emotions fluctuate so much. Your Highness, Dr. Armstrong is here. He wanted to bring Princess Shirley back home for a short stay. Your Highness, I haven't seen Princess Shirley for quite some time. I miss her. Since you miss her so much, just come to my residence more often. There's no need to bring her home. Home! I want to go home! Your Highness, Princess really wants to go home. If so, just bring Shirley back home with you. I will pick her up by myself in a few days. I want Mia and Lily to accompany me back home. Tell Mia, if anyone dares to disrespect the princess, kill them. Yes, your highness, no worries, it won't happen. I didn't come looking for you, yet you've come to me. Well then, let's have some fun. <laughs> Shirley, you're finally back. I miss you every day, Shirley. <laughs> you are so kind, Sophia. Shirley, come to my room with me. I have something interesting to show you. <laughs> come in quickly. <laughs> you sure? Do you think marrying Princess Jeremy will make you a princess? Do you think marrying Prince Jeremy will make you a princess? Why aren't you being silly anymore? Uh, Mom! You sure? Uh. <laughs> Mia, help! They are picking on me! Go get the prince! I want to go home! You've got some nerve to bully Princess Shirley. What the hell is going on? Dad, you've got to stand up for us. Ouch, Daddy, it hurts. They're beating me up. Hobby, Mr. Armstrong, keep in mind that Princess bullying Princess Shirley is a capital offense. 
Don't worry, sir. I'll take care of them and make sure they learn their lesson. That's great. Get them out of here and punish them. Your Highness, did you notice Sophia and Mary's expression yesterday? Sophia. Your Highness. Listen. Sophia and Prince Jonathan. Interesting. This. Sophia. Jonathan. Your Highness, why didn't you let me catch them in the act? Must go straight to the source to deal with problem. In a few days, Sophia portrayed the Phoenix Maiden about to test her ability in front of the Phoenix Villa Rock. These things will come in handy. They're probably able to help the prince out. You're really into the prince. Mia, do you even know what this is called? In a TV show, we call this being the ultimate support. You're just too lovable. Your Highness, you must have fancy me. When I say like, I mean the sisterhood of liking. Well, I can't take it either. Alright, alright. Get up. By the way, where has Lily been lately? I've noticed her in and out of Thomas and Mary's room quite often these days. They might be scamming something again. I'll bring her in front for questioning. No problem, just wait for her to come back. Master. Lily. After you followed my foolish daughter to Prince Jeremy's residence, did you make sure the sachet was with her at all times? I'm with the princess every day, and yes, the sachet is indeed worn by her daily. How's it been for you at Prince Jeremy's residence these days? Prince Jeremy's keep a close eye on me. I have to tread carefully in Prince Jeremy's residence. This medicine is colorless and tasteless. Most people won't notice it. You slip this medicine into Charlotte's food, once she's dead, you return to serve in the Armstrong's residence. My mouth won't let you down, I promise. Very well. Go ahead. Yes. Your Highness, here's some bird's nest soup from the kitchen. Please have a taste. Indeed. They're coming back to kill me. Your Highness. There's poison in this bird nest soup. I know I messed up with you before, but my contract still was a maiden. I'm not there to disobey Master, but I don't want to hurt you anymore either. You've been pretty good to me in Prince Jeremy's residence. You did well. There's a conscience in you. Don't worry. I'll let Mary hand over a deed of sale personally. Princess Shirley. Is this bird nest from your father? Yes, my biological father. I should surely treat him well with such a good bird nest. Daddy! Shirley, why are you here? Is everything okay with your buddy? Daddy, this bird nest is delicious. Have some! I won't eat. If it's delicious, help yourself to a bit more. <laughs> Why are you aren't eating? Don't you care about me? It's so hard only for Sophia. No, Shirley. How could you think like that? Both you and Sophia are my daughters. Then, Daddy, please have some. Mr. Armstrong, the princess sent you this bird nest. Why won't you eat? You must have forgotten what prince told you, right? Anyone who dares to disrespect the princess will be killed. Daddy, is that good? This is so good. If it's delicious, you gotta eat it all up. Alright, eat it all up. <laughs> okay, Shirley, I'm down eating. You guys should head home soon. I still have work to do. You're done? Okay, I'll go home with Mia first. Alright. Let's go. Ah. Oh. How dare you betray me, Lily? I'll kill you. 
Thomas Armstrong never expects that he'd pick up a stone and smash his own feet. Your Highness, aren't you afraid you'll get punished for poisoning your father? No. Why? He definitely has the antidote. It's just that even if he takes the antidote, the drug effect might keep him unconscious for some time. Who do you think gave him the order to call me back here? The person behind me wants me dead. Do you mean Prince Jordan? Yes. But I'm going to make the entire Armstrong's residence into a chaotic mess. Please <laughs> forgive me, madam. Since you've paid for everything me. you've done to the owner, I'll spare your life. Mia, send her out of the residence later and get her some money. Yes, your highness. Don't hurt Lily. Don't hurt her. Shelley, Lily is just getting massaged by planks. It's comfortable getting massage. You can even use your body to dye maple leaves red. It's very pretty. Do you want to try? Then I want to see you dye maple leaves red. You stupid. The red only leaves so pretty. Let's get her marry someone. How could we? Lily has to take care of you. Don't you hear what Princess Shelley said? Give me the deep seal. Well, good getting rid of her too. She is just a failure. Oh, uh, I'm sleepy. I want to go back to bed. Mother, is there really no way to go against this fool? I'll let a man assault her tonight. We'll see who dare to keep her. Mia, come in and sleep with me. I can't sleep. I'm bored. Your Highness, this isn't appropriate. What's so wrong about this? I'm asking you to sleep. Just come here and sleep. This is our order. Yes, Your Highness. Mia, ever since I first met you, I saw that you were quite a beauty. If you dress womanly, I'm sure you'd attract everyone's attention. Your Highness. You wouldn't be so horny that you won't even let my female guards off the hook, right? What nonsense are you talking about? Don't breathe. Too late. I've already inhaled it. I've already knocked out the person who dropped. It's my fault that I didn't notice it immediately. Kick that person out. Don't disturb my sleep. Yes, Your Highness. I'm going to prove it to you now, whether I'm weak or not. You got dropped again. I don't want you to do so because you are always drunk in a moment like this. Calm down. Mom, the time is already up, right? I think so. Assuming the time has passed, Sophia, follow me to Shirley's room to catch her cheating. Don't move, Shirley. I never saw that you do such nasty things in the Armstrong's residence. Sophia, are you here to sleep with me? This fool. We'll see why the Prince Jeremy still wants you. Prince Jeremy, why are you here? Get out of here now. Go and knee down. Prince Jeremy, how could you treat me like this? Get lost. Mom, should I go find Prince Jonathan? He will definitely help us out. 
Or I can go find Prince Jordan too. Shut up. What if someone else hear what you said? Then what shall we do? Or I'll go back, Prince Jeremy. It must be the effect of the drug. Shut up your mouth. I have acknowledged my mistakes, Prince Jeremy, but surely she. Someone here? Sophie Armstrong and Mary Bennett went against Princess Shirley, dragged them out to punish them severely. Prince Jeremy, how could you do this to me? Prince Jeremy, my daughter and I made an unintentional mistake. I beg your highness to let us off hook. Prince Jeremy, if you think it's suffocating to keep it in, I'm willing to serve you. Only my citizens are able to help you. Awesome. Is this the so called self recommendation? Prince Jeremy, Prince Jeremy, sorry for my wife and daughter's rude behavior. I hope you can't let them off the hook for the sake of Shirley. Sophia said it's comfortable by massaging with clunks, and they can even dye all maple leaves red. It will be very pretty. I want to see it. I want to see it. Then we'll do it as Princess Shirley says. Drag him out and beat him up with planks. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. I'm sleepy now. I want to go home and sleep. Let me bring you back. Oh, mother, Sophia, that Vernia has always believed in fate. You are the true lady with Phoenix character. And Latvania's future queen, Prince Jeremy, isn't even a candidate for the song. You mustn't put too much hope on him. You should try and please Prince Jonathan and Prince Jordan. You will still be the queen of Latvania, no matter whichever one of them takes the throne. Mother, but the Phoenix Maiden is actually that for Shirley. If I say you are the Phoenix Maiden, then you are the Phoenix Maiden. That's right. I'm the Phoenix Maiden. But that for Shirley Armstrong is so hateful. Why is Prince Jeremy treating her so well? Don't worry. Queen Serafina will settle everything nicely. Sorry for shocking you. I actually have a secret to tell you. What secret? Actually, I wasn't drugged just now. You're a master of poisons. Yet you didn't notice, or you just went with the flow. I. It wasn't because of the drug effect just now. I didn't do it on the spur of the moment either. I've actually fallen for you for a long time. That's why I. That means you. Ah, ah. Find it again. The critical moment. It's really hard to hold myself when he's telling me he's fallen for me with this handsome face on. Actually, I've fallen for you too. Mother. Army Nirvana is Jeremy's former subordinates. Now he's back in charge of the army. Very soon he'll become a stumbling rock on my way to the throne. What are you panicking about? It's not an easy task taking back the talisman. Mother, do you have something in mind? That fool can save his life, but she can ruin him too. Mother, what do you mean? There's a birth of a phoenix character to many dynasties to assist the king in his endeavors. Twenty years ago, the Armstrong family had a phoenix sign. The High Commissioner said that the Armstrong had a phoenix maiden. That's why the king's so favorable to Armstrongs. If your father agrees to let the phoenix maiden marry you, your place will be secured. But the Armstrongs only has two daughters, and one of them is already married to Jeremy. It's definitely not a fool, which means there's only Sophia Armstrong left. I've already asked Mary Bennett to cooperate. We must let the king, his majesty, to gauge this marriage on the birthday three days later. Thank you, mother. You must win Sophia's heart. I've heard that Prince Jordan is also trying to get close to Sophia recently. What? Prince Jordan is always stealing from me. Don't worry, mother. He won't be able to defeat me. Right about Sophia. She is a phoenix character and is always sending herself on to you. Aren't you interested at all? It seems like Princess Shirley is jealous. I'm not. If she's the Phoenix Maiden, how would she not know how to keep herself clean? Besides, I have an angle, like you beside me. Consider you know something. I hope you can settle everything sooner or later. 
so that you can leave the place in peace. Very soon. I've prepared a huge gift for Her Majesty's birthday. I'm tired of acting like a fool too. What is this? You won't understand even explaining to you. Anyway, stop asking if you believe me. Look. The object can glow. In a few days, I will use this thing at the Christmas birthday banquet to shine everywhere. Just wait and see when the time comes, Prince Jeremy. There is another purpose for Queen Sarafina's birthday feast today. It's to verify your status as Phoenix Maiden to use this opportunity to marry you to Prince Jonathan. So you must remember to be prudent at all times and not to show any weakness. Mom, but... No more buts. The time has come for this to happen. Don't worry. I've arranged everything. Nothing will go wrong. Mom, I trust you. Mom, I'll be right back. Hmm. Shelly, come with me. I've got something fun here. Where is it? I want to have fun. Where are you taking my princess? Princess Jeremy, I don't have any other intention. I just want to take my sister to have a look at the flowers. All she knows just calling Prince Jeremy all the time. Anyone would have had enough. Prince Jeremy, I'm going to be married soon, but I still love you in my heart. As long as you wish, I will follow you. Let's go. Why are you so angry with the fool? Come with me and wait in front of the palace. <laughs> Your Majesty, this is my wife, Mary Bennett, and my daughter, Sophia Armstrong. Greetings, Your Majesty. Get up. Thank you, Your Majesty. She's so elegant and graceful. It seems Thomas has taught her well. Thank you, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, the prince has reached the age of marriage. It's rumored that the Armstrong's daughter has a phoenix character. Now it's time to test her true character. Yes, that's right. If Sophia is true to what the High Commissioner has said, I will give her a marriage. <laughs> this rock is called Phoenix Maiden Rock. If the lady with the phoenix character touches this rock, the shape of phoenix will appear in the sky. Sophia, go and touch it. All right. That's it. It looks like Sophia is really the Phoenix Maiden. Thank God for that. Someone set your fireworks! Father, it's this man who's doing it. Take him down and chop him up! How dare you, Thomas Armstrong, play tricks in front of me! I would never dare, your majesty. I really don't know anything. Oh, I thought she was really a phoenix maiden. How dare they cheat in front of Queen Serafina? If Sophia Armstrong's not a phoenix maiden, is that full princess phoenix maiden? No, 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 your majesty. Sophia is really a phoenix maiden. I don't know why, but the phoenix pattern has turned into fireworks. I'm the actual phoenix maiden. Shirley Armstrong's just a fool. How can she be the phoenix maiden? It must be Shirley Armstrong doing it on purpose. She's jealous for me being a phoenix maiden. But isn't she a fool? How could a fool have such mind? That's right. How could a fool do that? It's fun to play with the rock. I want to set up fireworks too. Firework! So the foolish princess is Shirley Armstrong. Didn't I see she was a fairy before? I want fireworks too. Fireworks! It's...
How dare you humiliate and hurt the maiden with my character? Today, I must publicize your crimes. <laughs> Sophia Armstrong is shameless. How can she be the Phoenix Maiden? Both of you, explain to me what's going on here. Father, father, father. Forgive me, Your Majesty. I'll let the princess regain her senses today. Shirley, Shirley! She's really not a fool anymore. Your Majesty, now I have regained my senses, and Sophia is not the Phoenix Maiden. I was wondering if her marriage is still valid. She doesn't deserve to marry into the royal family. As for Prince Jordan and Prince Jonathan, both of you will be in isolation for a month. Don't come out to disgrace yourself. Thank you, Father. As for the Armstrongs' family... Mrs. Shirley, the Armstrongs is your family as well. I'm married to Prince Jeremy, so I have nothing to do with the Armstrongs. However, my father, Thomas Armstrong, I have a matter that I'd like to bring to your majesty's attention. What is it? Princess Jeremy was poisoned because of the scented pouch that Thomas Armstrong put on me when I was a fool. Thomas Armstrong added so many poisonous substances to that scented pouch. Shirley, why could you frame me? I'm your father. Everything I've said is true. Thomas Armstrong, if you were really innocent, why would your daughter frame you? Not only that. She was cruel to kill my mother to gain her favor. She poisoned me in my diet, causing me to become a fool. She even hid the fact that I am Phoenix Maiden. As for Thomas Armstrong's intention to kill Prince Jeremy, it was because of his collusion with one of the prince. But only he himself knew who the prince was. Prince Jordan, Prince Jordan, help! Mr. Armstrong, stop trying to frame me. I've had no interaction with you in the past. Please look into it, Father. Yes, it's all my fault. The Armstrongs has committed the countless crimes. Pick day and be at them at noon. Your Majesty, Your Majesty please, please forgive, forgive us. us. Your, Your Majesty, Majesty, forgive, forgive us, please. us, please. Jeremy, since the poison in your body is almost cured. I will leave the posh pavilion and the lavish loft managed by Prince Jordan and Prince Jonathan to you. Yes. <laughs> I am so beautiful. I want to marry Prince Jeremy. My daughter is Phoenix Maiden. Shirley Armstrong, I've taken revenge for you. I'll keep on living for you. I'm so beautiful. You jinx. You've ruined the Armstrongs. You will get punished by karma. If you had treated Shirley Armstrong well, you wouldn't be in this situation. You are the one that ruined the Armstrongs. Let's ask His Majesty to not kill you, so you can stay in the Armstrongs' residence for the rest of your life. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> it's on fire, on fire! It seems they were not in vain. He knew Prince Jordan and Prince Jonathan would never let him go. Take it as compensation for their crimes, then they've come to the end of their journey. But my journey has just begun. Your Highness, Prince Jordan's spies in army Nirvana have all been cleared. That's great. The matter that's been hanging in my mind has finally been resolved. Our prince is really the greatest. Prince Jeremy, why are you frozen? No, I'm not. I'm just happy. Well, you are really stubborn with your words. Why don't I remember whether I confessed to her that day? Um, so you're hungry. I wonder if there's anything good to eat in the kitchen.
So mysterious. What's going on? Prince Jeremy instructed that no one is allowed to come over. You should leave now. I've spoken many times. No one is allowed in this room. Get out of here. This man's so fickle. He said he liked me a few days ago. <gasps> Your Highness, what's wrong with you? Mia, do you know what's in the room that Prince Jeremy forbids everyone to enter? I don't know. But Prince Jeremy always weeps quietly in that room and always says... He's missing someone. Does he have another lover in his heart? What's wrong with you today? It's strange. Nothing. If it's nothing, it's great. Then we'll leave first. You idiot! Who is this? Me. I'll open the door for Prince Jeremy. Mia, don't open the door for him. Prince Jeremy, it's getting late. I've gone to bed. Let's talk about everything the other day. Shirley Armstrong, what's wrong with you? I feel like you're angry. Are you angry with me? I'm not angry. I'm fine. Then open the door for me. No, I'm sleepy. I'm going to sleep. Huh. I told you he was bad. He know nothing about perseverance. Look at you now. Do you look like the future crown prince? Mother, you must have a solution, right? Tell me what to do, what must be done. You are the crown prince. Even if you are in isolation, you are still the crown prince of Latvernia. No one can affect your position. As for Prince Jordan, he will be even more anxious than we are. We just need to wait and see what happens. All we need to do is wait. What you need to do now is pull yourself together and wait for a chance to fulfill a secure position as the crown prince. I understand. Wait for me. I'll make your lives worse than death and make you all regret your decision. Your Highness, you and Prince Jonathan have been sentenced to isolation. The situation in Dana City is as quiet as a pool of stagnant water. What are you going to do? Notify the varsity section, capture Shirley Armstrong, and force Jeremy to send out troops. It's been too peaceful lately. If we don't do something, I'm afraid I have to isolate it for a very long time. Such a great pain, your highness. When the time comes, I'll leave. Do not forget, I am backed by the Duke Duncan. They cannot do anything to me. Sure. Didn't we agree to divorce with all over? What did he have to do with me if he fancy others? Shirley Armstrong, why are you afraid to go in? No, I was just curious. Can I just go in and take a look? If love lasts forever, it's not a matter of time. Is it because I'm between both of you that I'm blocking you from being together? What are you doing here? Prince Jeremy, we are in front of your girlfriend. You'd better watch your behavior. You are the one I'm married to. You scum. Once we're done with Prince Jordan, we'll divorce. I'll have nothing more to do with whoever you like. I'm just a time travel passerby. Why does my heart ache so much? Come out. Go and drink with me. Your Highness, it's too late now. Should you inform Prince Jeremy? You're not going, right? I'll go myself. Your Highness, you said you're going for a drink. Mia, think about it. Prince Jordan wants to kill me, but he hasn't made a move. 
It's not because there's nothing he can do, but because the palace is heavily guarded. Jeremy is protecting me too well. That's why I have to create the opportunity for him. Your Highness, have you been faking it all these days? No, not really. But I'm so ambitious that I'm willing to use myself as a bait to lure Prince Jordan to kill me. Your Highness, Prince Jeremy only agree. You better come back to residence with me. Mia, let me go. Show yourself. How come you didn't pass out? That's not going to work on me. No, I'm telling you, you are no match for me either. I have a deal to talk to your master. Let her go. I'll go with you guys. Don't touch me. I'll walk by myself. What? Did she come back? Your Highness, the prince is using herself to lure Prince Jordan. She's taken by the Versace section. Get men and come with me. We must rescue Shirley. Yes, Your Highness. You are Shirley Armstrong. You've offended Prince Jordan. You no longer have the privilege to leave. Is that so? I don't think you have much time left either. You, boss, is full of shit. Why don't we just kill her? I'm sure your body hurts like hell every time the poison strikes. The antidote must be taken regularly every day to stay alive. And Prince Jordan is the only one who has it. I can cure it for you. You can cure it. Yes. Well, let's see if you can detoxify yourself first. Here, in varsity section, we use our bodies to make poison every day. This is the strongest of all, and no one has ever tried it. Shirley Armstrong, you can die in peace. Gosh, what kind of poison is this? Well, I'm immune to all poisons. It does smell bad, though. Come on. You are not afraid. Cut the crap. Boss, look, I told you she's bluffing. This, this is impossible. Anyone who can drink this and not die is the mother of poison of the varsity section. Mother, mother. Forget it. I'm not interested in being a mother. What are you waiting for? Hurry up and untie mother. Yes. Have a seat. I'd like to make a deal. I'll cure you, and you'll give me the list and evidence of Prince Jordan's corrupt practices. How do you know all this? Well, I'm a fairy. Deal. Drink this up. <laughs> it's really a miracle cure. Looks like there's a cure for everyone else. Really, boss? Go and get the things the mother wants. All right. <laughs> This is all evidence that we helped Prince Jordan to get rid of the opponents. But there's something more important. I'd like to do it right now. What is it? Since that you don't like the title Mother of Poison, how about we call each other brother and sister? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if you insist. Boss, we're in trouble. Prince Jeremy is here. Don't panic. They can't get up here. He's already at the door. What? Don't hurt him. <laughs> Dear sister, it looks like you are very close to Prince Jeremy. Why don't I do you a favor? How about you pretend to have passed out? Huh? But why? Oh! <laughs> Shirley. If you want to save her, pay with your own life. Are you willing to do it? 
If you want to save her, pay with your own life. Are you willing to do it? I am. Okay, I'll let you have it then. Come. Drink this. I didn't do it on the spur of moment that night. I've had my heart set on you, whoever you are. I like you, just the way you are. You're okay. Why are you doing this? It's not poison. These are fake. I was just pretending. I just want to test you. You are always the only one in my heart. You guys, your highness, the princess, and I are now brother and sister. We just wanted to test you a little. You are not mad, are you? Yes. Here's all the evidence of Prince Jordan's corrupt practices. We'll need you to testify in person by then. No problem. I'm a new man from today onwards. From now on, I'll be at the beck and call of your highness and my sister. But you must tell Prince Jordan that I'm dead and pretend to defect to the crown prince. Oh, got it. You are the leader of the Versity section. Yes, the Versity section has been controlled by Prince Jordan with poisons to work for him. We've taken his order to kill Shirley Armstrong, and we've offended Prince Jeremy. Prince Jordan is trying to get rid of us. After using us, Your Highness, we had two choice but to come to you. Why should I trust you? I just hope you can get us the antidote. After that, the Versity section will be your sworn servant, always at your disposal, without a word of complaint. Oh yeah, did you just say that Shirley Armstrong is dead? Yes, that's a great news. I should go to Jeremy's residence now. You are indeed a good actor. It's like I'm really dead now. Of course we have to do our best to act. The crown prince is here. As you predicted, he's here. I'll head out now to meet the crown prince. Such a big disaster happened to you. You don't have to bother welcoming me. Greetings, your highness. I heard about it last night. Shirley was killed by the Versity section. I feel sorry for Shirley. I'm sorry for your loss, Jeremy. It's indeed that all royals are good at acting. Looks like she's really dead. <laughs> I've already taken medicine to hold breath, knowing that you do this. I must avenge Shirley's death. After being in seclusion, I figured out a lot of things. The dispute between us was started by Prince Jordan. It was him who poisoned you. Why don't we join our forces against him? Your Highness, all I want now is to avenge Shirley. I found the Prince's murderer. I found the Prince's murderer. It's you? Somebody? Prince Jeremy, please spare me. It's Prince Jordan. I was sent by him to kill the princess. Why is it him again? We are blood brothers. How could he do this to me? Jeremy, this time we must fight back. Otherwise, they'll only get more arrogant. I'll do as you say. What's that noise? <laughs> I've really lived up to Prince Jordan's expectations. Prince Jordan is messing around, and I'll do the same to him. Tomorrow, I'll gather the ministers and report him to His Majesty. Don't you want to avenge the princess? I'll follow Your Highness' command. Surely, they are gone. Shirley! Shirley! Jeremy, get me out of here! Your Highness! Get out! Oh, okay!
Prince Jonathan, you've joined the ministers in petitioning Jordan. Don't you think that I've no idea what you're up to? Father, as the crown prince, I can't stand seeing Jordan plotting against Jeremy. That's why I'm speaking up for him. Jonathan, don't you accuse me. I've always been on good terms with Jeremy, and I've never offended you. Do you want to get rid of me so badly? Jeremy, is that true? Keep in mind, I only believe in evidence. Father, Shirley was abducted by the varsity section two days ago. I destroyed the varsity section to save her. Fortunately, Jonathan managed to capture their leader. Father, he told me everything during the interrogation. It's true that he's been working for Jordan, and they are all bad deeds. The man is waiting outside. Let him in. Your Majesty, Prince Jordan has been using poison to control the men of Varsity Section. His Highness even forced us to do a lot of bad deeds. Your Majesty, it's all his head. I suspect he's working with Jeremy to free me. Prince Jordan even sent someone to kill Shirley Armstrong. Killing a royal member is a capital offense. Shirley Armstrong is dead? The princess is just a little shaken up. She's fine. Then why did Jonathan say he was dead? I did kill Shirley Armstrong back then. Perhaps she is really a fairy. Who'd have thought she could come back alive? You wicked man is really evil. Why hasn't Prince Jeremy catch you? But Prince Jonathan did. Besides, you two said that Prince Jordan was corrupted. But we need evidence for that. Father, their intentions are clear. I suspect that they have been planning this for a long time, and now they are trying to drag me into this. Father, I do have evidence. I found this ledger from diversity section. You bastard! How dare you do this? I'm innocent! How are you innocent? These papers have your stamp on it. Prince Jordan, I never thought that you'd use the power I gave you for your own benefits. Father, I was just losing my mind. I beg you to spare me. Prince Jordan's residence will be shut down, and he'll be deprived of his throne. You'll be imprisoned in his residence for eternity. Jeremy, I can't believe Shirley is still alive. And you have the evidences. You are just using me as a shield by bringing me here. If it's a success, it's all on you. If it fails, you'll drag me down. You are hitting two birds with one stone. Jonathan, it was you who came to me yesterday, and I didn't say a word. Diversity section's leader was also sent by you. You knew that if you accuse Jordan by yourself, you'll be seen as trying to seize power. I've underestimated you. That's right. This is just the beginning. Your poison is almost neutralized now, now that Prince Jordan has fallen, but he's only manages to disguise the crown prince. However, it won't be long. After all, he is the crown prince. Seizing power isn't the main thing here. It's having you by my side. That matters. Do you really think so? Didn't we agree to sign the divorce papers? Why the silence? I'm curious why you went to such lengths to help me. The words you said after we get out from coffee that day, do you really mean it? I fell in love with you at first sight, so I dropped you. I owe you an explanation. About that painting. I do have a woman in my heart. But we are separated by thousands of years. In this palace that's full of deceit. She's the one who's been with me. Thousands of years apart. You say... Yes. I too have traveled through time, but in these 12 years, I've gotten used to the intrigue in the palace and the identity of a prince. The reason I kept this from you was to conceal the identity of a modern person. Prince Jeremy, wait a second, let me catch my breath. You are from the roller world too. So, you know from the beginning that I'm too. This feels like a reunion with a long lost friend. It's a bit overwhelming. Isn't this me when I was a kid? You, you've been liking her for so many years. Could it be? Is it really you? It's really you. Then, it was that car accident. That accident. In these twelve years, whenever I couldn't hold on any longer, I would come here to find solace. 
I never let anyone know about this. Thankfully, fate has been kind to me. Little did I expect that after I die, I find myself in Shirley Armstrong's body. I saw that living another life won't bring any surprises, but unexpectedly, after wandering around, I met you. So you've been here for twelve years. Thank goddesses for this bracelet, bringing us back together. You must be exhausted on your own. Even though I've attained the position of God of War, I'm constantly oppressed. Though they see me as the throne in their side, I refuse to give up. It was only with your appearance that I found a turning point. Now that I'm here, I'll be with you for the rest of your life. Not getting divorced? I will. Why not divorce? Who else you threaten to beat and kill me before? In my eyes. There is no divorce, only being widowhood. Ah, your highness, are you okay? Your highness, Prince Jordan has been arrested and imprisoned. How about the crown prince? The crown prince is in a state of despair, and Queen Serafina has gone to his palace. Keep a close eye on it. Yes. Your Highness, what happened to you? Everyone, disperse. Let me out. I want to see father. Father won't abandon me. Let me out. I still have a way out. Duke Duncan! Duke Duncan is coming back! The world has developed so quickly in these 12 years. Do you know what is the hottest AI right now? What is AI? It's a bit complicated to explain. Let me tell you when we have a chance. Alright. Oh, by the way, Apple has already released iPhone 15 right now. iPhone 15? That's fast. <laughs> Your Highness, according to the report, Duke Duncan is on his way back to Dino City. Finally, he's coming back. Act according to the original plan immediately. Yes. Who is this Duke Duncan? Duke Duncan is uncle of Prince Jordan. He's Prince Jordan's biggest supporter and highly valued in the court. He's been guarding the border. It seems Prince Jordan won't stay quiet again. After Prince Jordan summoned Duke Duncan, I've already negotiated peace with the Crown Prince and obtained evidence huh? of Duke Duncan's crimes. You didn't tell me about such a big thing. I can't always stand behind you, right? Well, making peace with the Crown Prince is a smart move. Taking down one adversary is a win-win for both of you. We did mess with him before, so he's on high alert now. The crown prince is a mommy boy. Without the queen around, his limited brain power could have gotten him into all sorts of trouble. However, be careful not to be used as a pawn by him. A chew! Who's cursing me again? Did you catch a cold? Mother, Duke Duncan is on his way to the Dino City. We must act immediately according to the original plan. We must crush the lost forces of Prince Jordan. Should we inform Jeremy? Just notify him. Now is not the time for you to break ties with him yet. I don't want any unexpected incidents to occur in the end. Alright. After all the scheming and battling, Prince Jordan will finally fall out of my hands. I want to ensure he never have a chance to rise again. Master, news from Dino City. Since there are many rumors circulating or unfavorable to you, should we consider postponing our entry to the Dino City? These underhanded tactics won't stop me from entering the Dino City. So ridiculous! But there's nothing to hesitate about. If they dare to frame Prince Jordan, I'll make them pay the price. Master, rumors are more foursome than a tiger. That's enough. I have my own plan. Accused to Duncan Rebellion. Dixon Frankel, tell me if this is true or false. Your Majesty, this servant is but a lonely commoner. I have no way of knowing the truth. Stop pretending before me. You are pardoned. Your Majesty, this news spread suddenly. I think someone must be intentionally defaming, but Duke Duncan has long resided at the border. And for safety's sake, we have to take precautions, Your Majesty. When did you start brushing me off? 
I deserve severe punishment, your majesty. Forgive me. Enough. Get up. Your majesty, the crown prince and prince Jeremy are outside requesting an audience. I'm not in the mood to see anyone right now. But the crown prince claims to have crucial evidence to present to you, your majesty. Let him in. Yes. Greetings, father. Don't think that I don't know what you're up to. Is it about Duke Duncan? Have you thought about the consequences of this matter? Father, I don't seek any gangs. I only wish to ease your worries. Oh? Do you have evidence? I received information that our forces destroyed a covertly supported store of an enemy nation and captured a key personnel. During the interrogation, he confessed everything. They indeed having dealings with Duke Duncan. Even if what you say is true and he disclosed everything. However, do you think that's enough to convict the Duke Duncan? Father, I... Father, I have more crucial evidence. Have you verified the authenticity of this ledger? Yes, Father. I have thoroughly confirmed it from various sources and secretly monitored all the stores. Why? Why on earth is this happening? Jeremy, I entrust this matter to you. Ensure you to bring him back for me. As for Jonathan, you should go back and contemplate. We accept the decree. Very well. From the second time, I've been misled by you again. Jonathan, I just obtained this letter this morning. We were in a hurry to the palace, so I forgot to tell you. I have no ulterior motifs. Please understand, your highness. It's okay, as long as we catch Duke Duncan. Have you made contact with Duke Duncan? Not yet. The men we sent out all disappeared without a trace. It's likely they were intercepted by the Crown Prince's men. We must do whatever it takes to establish immediate contact with the Duke Duncan. Yes, your highness. I'm the Duke. What do you think you are doing? Get out of my way. You won't be the Duke for long. Great, you touch with the enemy and betray the country for your own profits. You are far from being forgiven. Lies. These are nothing but accusations. Accusation? Everyone in the city knows about it. How dare you still call it a slander? What? Why didn't you tell me this sooner? Sir, I wanted to warn you, but you didn't give me any chance. You are framing a good man. I want to see his majesty. Of course, you'll see him. With all the witnesses and evidence, all we lack right now is you. How can we not bring you to his majesty? Impossible. Do they really have all the evidence? There's no way. It must be a lie. Arrest him. How is it? Prince Jeremy has arrested Duke Duncan. His majesty also held a joint hearing. The crown prince ended up being tricked again. Not only lose his credit, he even got reprimanded. Good. The only one left standing our way now is the crown prince. What about the army of Nirvana? I'm not sure. But there shouldn't be a big deal. Mother, although Prince Jordan is no longer in the game, he still managed to trick me. He had earned all the credits in front of father. I've already asked Her Imperial Majesty to return as soon as possible. By her orders, she could effortlessly crush Shirley and Jeremy. Mother, why is Her Imperial Majesty listening to you? Her Imperial Majesty has been away for many years. There's no way she'll return. Her Imperial Majesty is a trump card of mine. Besides, I have something to blackmail her. When Her Majesty returns, you'll surely be able to win back your father's trust and love. I'll be waiting. Shirley, Jeremy, I'll kill you guys. What happened? There is something I need to report to you. The Empress is back. Are you referring to the Empress who has been on a retreat? Why is she back suddenly? Her Imperial Majesty is very fond of the Crown Prize and sided with the Queen. She's back this time to compete with us. I shall see what they are capable of. When we visit Her Imperial Majesty tomorrow, stay close to me. Don't simply say anything. Her Imperial Majesty is not to be messed with. Understood. It seems like peace is out of the option. Your Imperial Majesty, Queen Serafina is here. Let her in. Greetings, Your Imperial Majesty. Get up. 
I wonder why you wrote me a letter. Is it because my son got into trouble again? Did he angry you? Everything is fine. I wonder if you heard of the story of Jeremy's wife, Your Imperial Majesty. When I was on a retreat, I've heard the news about her. However, whatever happened between you is out of my concern. If that's the case, I can't guarantee that I keep your secret safe. This is a royalty affair. Fine, this shall be the last. I'll go and have a look at Shirley Armstrong myself. Let's see what she's made of. This is what the prince gave me, Your Highness. I've never seen Prince Jeremy being so good to anyone. This armor is one of a kind. It's a lifesaver for His Highness. He never gave it to anyone. But today, it's being handed to you. He even ordered me to protect you. This is a treatment no one has ever received. Got it. So I'll do my best to protect him too. Right. Tell me more about the Empress. Why are you dressing up so grand today? This is the first time I enter the palace. Ever since I stopped acting like a fool, her imperial majesty is obviously coming straight at us. As the main lead of this show, the spectators will lose their focus if I didn't dress nicely. Let's go. My female lead. Let's, Let's pay, pay her imperial majesty, majesty a visit. visit. She's indeed remarkable. She's so young looking. How dare you! Are you guilty, Princess Shirley? Grandmother, has she done anything to offend you? You killed your own family and caused the exile of Prince Jordan and the confinement of Crown Prince. This is not a thing that a fool can pull off. You lied to His Majesty. Kill her. Yes, Your Imperial Majesty. No one moves. This is my wife. How dare you, Grandmother? The princess did that for a person. Please forgive her. I'll confess everything. This guy confessed just like that. She's purposefully looking for trouble. I just want the princess to control herself. If you insist on hindering me, the news of her deeds will soon reach your father as well. Grandmother. If that's the case, I'll stay and listen to your teaching. Grandmother, leave us. <laughs> Don't worry, Grandmother. We'll surely take good care of Princess Shirley. You must be joking, Jonathan. To be able to stay by Grandmother's side—that's her getting lucky. Yeah, but for this whole long day, if you really miss her, you can bring an army to take her home. However, Grandmother's capability shouldn't be a mystery to you. You are definitely joking again, Jonathan. Shirley, I won't let you get hurt. Chest out, head up. You didn't eat. Ah,、oh, pay attention to your deportment. Stand still and don't move. Ah,、oh, it hurts. Lydia, stop a while. Let me have a good look of her face. Grandmother, I thought you hated me. I started praying and turned vegan. I've long unbounded myself from the annoying affairs of the palace. I keep you here because it's a queen's wish. Grandmother, why is that you're obeying the queen? Huh? Your Imperial Majesty. Grandmother, what's wrong? Her Imperial Majesty has been troubled by migraine for years. It's been like this for many years. Grandmother, this bracelet. Who gave it to you? It's a gift from the late king back then. However, there was once where I accidentally broke it. The artisans in the queen's palace fixed it for me. Then the migraine of yours didn't start after the bracelet was repaired. That's right, grandmother. May I have a look at the bracelet? Are you saying that there's something wrong with it? Yes. How dare you! How dare you! <laughs> you 
This drug is odorless. However, if kept aside for years, it will result in major migraines. Take medicine and will only worsen it. Eventually, you will lose your mind when falling into corporate control. The cream's really thoughtful. If it wasn't because of you, I wonder how long would it take me to realize this. Grandmother, just continue wearing this bracelet, and pretend you know nothing about it. Shirley Armstrong, what rewards do you like in return? What I want is simple. I hope that will continue to abuse me. What? I may not know why you are so keen on helping the Queen. But I do know that I can help you to free yourself from all these. You want me to put up a show with you? I'll help you to cure a problem, guaranteed to cure the illness. Okay. Your Grace, the Highness, Her Imperial Majesty is very unhappy with Princess Shirley. She's currently bullying Princess Shirley. Her Imperial Majesty only managed to soothe a little of my irritation by doing this. This, however, is nothing to Jeremy. As long as Shirley's still in the palace. Jeremy will not be able to stay still. After several attempts asking your father, ask her imperial majesty to let Shirley out, Jeremy probably will cause some trouble. Upon his mistakes, we'll be able to gain control of the army. You're really wise, mother. From what I say, you still need to secretly transmit messages of Shirley being abusive to Jeremy.、Mm. Go do it. Yes.、Yeah. Why did you break the rules? Ouch. I'll teach you a lesson about rules and deportment. Ouch, Lydia! Please forgive me, Princess. It's no use begging. It hurts. Grandmother, please get some rest. As for me, I'll go kneel outside. Okay. Luckily, I'm not bad at breast makeup. Ah, <sighs> I wonder what Jeremy is doing. Are you calling me? You're here. <laughs> Does your face hurt? It hurts to see it on your face. It's a drawing. I fooled you. Don't worry. What are you doing here? I was worried about you. I missed you. I'm fine. That's right. Her Majesty the Queen secretly drugged the Empress. It's causing the Empress a lot of headaches. Make sure not to expose herself. But it's so easy for you to enter the Rena Palace. The Empress must have authorized you to do so. Yes, I know. I don't want to leave now. Ah!、Uh, what are you doing? This is the Empress Palace. It seems that my grandson can't let go of you. He's never been so in love with anyone. Your Imperial Majesty, His Highness must have suffered a lot. Jeremy has been bullied a lot when he was little. His mother died young. At that time, he cried a lot and always clamored for his mother. But His Majesty the King sent him to a different place. He was brought up by the nanny. He became independent and strong afterwards. Then he doesn't show his true feeling anymore and lives a careful life. Oh dear, I owned him so much over the years. In this imperial court, Jeremy doesn't want to be the emperor, but he's surrounded by the enemies. I don't care about that anyway. It doesn't matter who crown prince is. But we all have the same enemies. I hope your imperial majesty can do me a favor. I hope you can find a way to convince his majesty the king. Let him issue a secret order to bring back a group of army in Nirvana. When her majesty the queen hears about this, she will try to find a way to blame Jeremy, thinking that Jeremy is plotting against the palace. What good will this do me? Her majesty the queen won't place the blame on you. Instead, she will appreciate your loyalty. I have my own arrangements. Your Highness, His Majesty summons you to the palace immediately. The Empress said she saw someone suspicious last night in the palace. 
She also said that there are loopholes in the palace's defense system. The Empress is in shock and she's still in bed this timing. I order you to bring back a group of army Nirvana into the palace and strengthen the defense. Yes, I will. I'm afraid someone will make use of army Nirvana to make a big fuss about it. So deploy them secretly. They can't be seen. Yes, I'll keep that in mind. Good. Mother, my spies in the palace learned that Jeremy is sending army Nirvana to the palace. I'm afraid that Jeremy is about to make a big move when army Nirvana is coming to the capital. Looks like he really doesn't care about the world as much as he cares about women. I'll tell you what, you guard the palace gate. How dare you, Prince Jeremy? How dare you bring army Nirvana into the palace? Are you trying to start a rebellion? The crown prince is plotting a rebellion. Army Nirvana, yes! Detain the crown prince and his troops. Jeremy, what are you talking about? You are the one who wants to rebel. Go to father then. What's going on? It's the middle of the night. What's all the fuss about, father? Prince Jeremy is trying to rebel. He's leading army Nirvana into the palace. Father, Prince Jonathan brought Sojin to the palace without permission. I think the one rebelling should be the crown prince. I know that Jeremy brought army Nirvana into the palace. I'm the one who sent Jeremy to do this. As for Jonathan, why did you bring your soldiers into the palace? I think you're the one who should be charged with rebellion. Jonathan heard that Jeremy was plotting a rebellion. That's why he was confused. But he has a good intention. He's just trying to protect you, Majesty. Is that true? Please forgive me, Father. It's true that I have no intention to rebel. Your Imperial Majesty, who has disturbed you? Isn't it you? Get up. Mother, Jonathan brought troops into the palace without permission. Don't you think he wants me dead sooner? Grandmother, I heard about Jeremy bringing troops into the palace. I was concerned that he might have rebellious intentions. Father, there's something I don't understand. May I ask about it? Just a few free to ask. The army Nirvana is tightly controlled, and this is a secret deployment. How did this get to the crown prince's ears? I really can't figure it out. Shut up, you! How dare you! Alright, let's stop. Your Majesty, although it's inappropriate for the Crown Prince to bring troops into the palace, there must be some misunderstanding. Let's ground the Crown Prince for now. Father, get lost! Welcome, Welcome back, back, Your, your highness. highness. It's been a long time, everyone. I've missed you all. Hey, Mia. You are sleeping with me tonight. You are challenging me again. There are so many people here. Put me down. What are you afraid of? There's no one here. Huh? What's going on? Why is it so mysterious? Steak! It's not from here. Where did you get this? I made it myself. I don't need you to use the power of the bracelet this time. But you are only a teenager when you travel here. How do you know so much? I matured early, okay? It's such a pity that the crown prince isn't abolished this time. But he's at the end of this rope. That's true. Oh yeah, there should be more surprises, right? Fireflies! <laughs> it's so beautiful! Shirley, will you dance with me? Okay. Mother, what should we do now? What's her next move? Is there any chance for a comeback? Want to make me surrender? It's not going to be that easy. I think I'll need to meet the Empress. What's the current condition of this Empress? Your Majesty, the Empress had just a bowl of kanji today and it wouldn't let anyone attend to her. Are there any words from the Royal Hospital? They couldn't find out any medical condition either. Idiots! 
With this amount of doctors, they can't even fix a simple illness. Such a bunch of useless idiots. Your Majesty, why not let Princess Shirley give it a try? Hmm, Prince Jeremy has been recovering well recently. Looks like Princess Shirley is indeed a lucky star. Since the doctors are clueless now, why not just let Her Highness have a try? Spread my words. Summon Princess Shirley to the palace to pray for the Empress. Yes. Your Highness is looking healthier than before. Looks like Princess Shirley is truly a special. Sir Dixon, is there anything that brings you to visit this time? His Majesty summons Prince Jeremy and Princess Shirley to the palace to pray for the Empress. Is it for Grandmother? Your Highness, where is Princess Shirley? The Empress is still waiting. Let Princess Shirley come over. Yes. Your Highness, where are you going? Hurry back to your room and fake being sick. What's happening? Why should I pretend to be sick? His Majesty, the King ordered Prince Jeremy and you to pray for the Empress in the palace. But it seems like Prince Jeremy doesn't really want you to go, so please pretend to be sick and stay inside the room. Why? I guess Prince Jeremy worries about you. Your Highness, please come back now. Where are you going? Greetings to Your Highness. Let's go. Your Highness, please come with me. Okay. No way, it's too risky. We just left the Empress's place, and now we have to go back again. I understand, but this is suspicious. I'm worried that the Crown Prince and his people are up to something, so I must go and confirm it myself. But... Just believe in me. Greetings, Greetings to, to you, Father. Father. Mm, do you know why I summoned Zhao? Father wants to check if my princess can cure grandmother's illness. That's right. The empress's health condition is getting worse by the days. The doctors are all out of ideas, so I can only ask help from y'all. Father's filial piety. I believe grandmother will get well soon, as she is your wife. I'll need to ask about your willingness for this. I'll follow whatever decision by father. Then, just let her go in. Go ahead. Just be cautious. All right. Your Imperial Majesty, don't worry, it's me. Quickly come to me. I'm not sick. I don't need to be treated. Leave my hand alone. Your Imperial Majesty, since I'm here, I have to confirm something. You know my medical skills well. Palpitations. Pale complexion, dual eyes, your impure majesty, is something bothering you? Has her majesty the queen come before this? What secrets does she have of you? Since you don't want to tell, I will not ask for it anymore. But hiding away from problems won't help. You need to resolve it. You, get lost! Mother, what happened to you? Never let her come to my place anymore. I don't want to see her face. Mother. I think Princess Shirley will help on your health, so I'll bring her to you for two hours daily. Are you not obeying my words? I dare not. Have a good rest, mother. I'll not disturb you. Take good care of the impress. Yes. I'll take my leave first. Let's go. How's it going? Was grandmother poisoned? Grandma is fine. She's just got something bothering her. It seems like it's pretty serious. Have you talked to Grandmother? Yeah. It looks like Queen Serafina came to her. The Empress not sure if she should help the Queen or not. I'm sure they will take action soon. Use all your resources to investigate everything related to the Queen in past few days. Could it be a coincidence? That's too much for a coincidence. She's the Queen. But if the crown prince falls, she'll be in trouble too. She worked hard to get to that position. Do you think she's satisfied with it? But she hasn't been active at all lately. That's just too weird. Your impure majesty, have you made up your mind? Why are you doing this? He's your husband. Why are you trying to destroy him? Why? I didn't get to where I am today easily. I worked hard for it. I'm not going to just give it up. Besides, Jonas is a crown prince. I'm just asking you to keep him safe. What's wrong with that? The crown prince is a higher to the throne. He must be a person of both virtue and talent to be qualified for this. Don't tell me this. 
I just want Jonathan to continue to be his crown prince, and I'm continuing to be the queen. What I know is, a flirtatious woman would be confined in the stokes. Not only did you give birth to him, you also helped him to become the ruler of today. If things go wrong, what will happen to you? What about the Majesty? <laughs> you only have two days left. If you don't act soon, we're all going down together. Be ready. When the time comes, get people to spread the word and help us evacuate. I'll get right on it. How's the investigation going, Prince Jeremy? We found Nathaniel. This is a letter from one of the people he sent out. Holy crap! I can't believe the current empress was so crazy. No wonder Queen Sarafina didn't care. She must have something over her hand. Are the rats being monitored? Secret guards are watching them all. Keep them in your sights and wait for the order to strike. Also, you need to get all the letters back from them. Don't let anyone see them, not even you. You are in charge of helping them. You need to make sure that no one is left behind. Just do as the princess says. Yes. I told you, I don't want to see you again. Don't hold it in anymore. I already know about the queen's threat. I don't get it. What are you talking about? Where did you get this from? Of course, it came from someone on the queen's side. She got everything in place. She can spread the news at any time. How many people know about this thing now? Right now. There's just me, but how many will be in the future? It's up to your imperial majesty. For the sake of Jeremy, I will let you off hook this time. Are you trying to threaten me? Don't overthink it. I'm here to help. You, helping me? Yes, I'm the only one who can help your imperial majesty at this point. Prince Jeremy's men. Have got the queen's men under wrap. They are ready to make the arrest. Don't forget, the queen's the biggest threat. If your imperial majesty is willing to do it, I can help to settle the queen. The queen's offer sounds safer than your plan. Why should I choose you? The queen's offer is definitely a lot safer. But how long can imperial majesty keep that safety? Even if the idiot Jonathan can't keep through in this crisis, how long will he last? Then your imperial majesty has to go back to the majesty again. It's a never-ending cycle. Your imperial majesty will always be under the queen's thumb. Most importantly, besides the queen, I also know about the news now. You think I'm dead to kill you? Not that I look down on your imperial majesty. The opportunity is right in front of you, but you haven't even made your decision, let alone to kill me. Do you think I'm easier to kill than the queen, and foolish enough to come here and get myself killed? It's better to open rather than hide it. If we don't deal with this now, it will get worse. I can help your imperial majesty out if you are willing to work with me. We did a good job together last time, right? Even if you help, the consequence will still be there unless you commit suicide. Don't worry about it. This news doesn't matter to me. Prince Jeremy surely will become the crown prince. So if I spread this, I'd just be harming myself. Let your imperial majesty mess things up. But I don't think you would do this. After all, Prince Jeremy is the best prince among all of them. I need some time to think it over. Your imperial majesty, you don't have time. The queen's men could find out any moment that one of them is missing. So how are you planning to deal with the queen? The time she gave me is only one day left. She will hold herself in her own place. At that time, I will send someone to inform you. Contact His Majesty immediately. Let him know that the Queen poisoned you, compelling your Imperial Majesty to secure the position of the Crown Prince. This way, His Majesty will surely send men to capture her, creating an illusion of her fear and guilt, and committing suicide.
This is a poison. Take it. Do you want to control me? If I want to control your imperial majesty, is poison necessary? I just want this matter to look more convincing. Take action. Yes. Can you handle what I gave you? Don't worry, Your Highness. I will definitely complete the task. Go ahead. Thanks for helping me with that. Here's the antidote. When this is all over, His Majesty will definitely send a doctor for the Empress. Then, you just take the antidote to her. The Queen's already dead. You can begin now. Help! Come quick! Your Imperial Majesty, what happened to you? Hurry, go and summon His Majesty quickly. Yes. Your Imperial Majesty. Mother, I'm here. Your Majesty, it seems that I may not be able to accompany you any longer. Take care of your health and make sure to rest on time. Mother, please don't talk nonsense. In any case, I will find a way to cure you. Alexandra, be cautious of Serafina. She poisoned me just to secure the position of Crown Prince. Such a person must not be spared. What? The Queen poisoned you? Are you sure you are not mistaken? Mother, your Imperial Majesty. Mother, your Imperial Majesty. Hurry, summon the Royal Physician. Yes. Go. Bring the Queen to me. Yes. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Queen Serafina committed suicide when I got there. She was already dead. What? This is the confession letter left by Queen Serafina. Your Majesty, Your Majesty, take care of yourself, Your Majesty. Mother. Next, you are preparing to ascend the position of Crown Prince. In that case, I can grant you a worry-free wedding. Wedding? But you promised me that you would let me go once I defeated the enemies. Did I say so? What? In my realm, there's no talk of divorce, only the loss of a spouse. Then did I tell you before? The poison in your body isn't completely gone yet. I'm poisoned. And only you can save me. <laughs> Prince Jeremy, the Empress is gravely ill. The King has put out a call for the best physicians in the city to come and save her. Your Majesty, Prince Jeremy and Princess Shirley are outside the door, requesting an audience. Let them in. Yes. Greetings, Greetings Father. Father. Jeremy. I found this antidote a while ago. I think it might be able to cure Grandmother's poison. Your Majesty, it is indeed an antidote peel. Hurry up, administer it to the Empress. Mother, how do you feel now? I feel much better. Quick, check on the Empress. Yes! Your Majesty, the Empress's pulse has returned to normal. I believe it won't be long before the poison is neutralized. Great. Thanks to Jeremy. Whatever you desire, just let me know. I don't expect anything in return. This is what I should do. Jeremy has the makings of a great leader. Now that the crown prince has disgraced himself, Jeremy will be a good choice for the swan. Just as the Empress said, I will select the day to make Jeremy the crown prince. Who the hell are you? How dare you touch me? My good big brother, how did you become like this? What happened to your arrogance and your hubris? It's you, huh? We're both losers. So why can't you let me go? You're the lost and homeless one. But I'm now under the protection of the Delphoria. Sooner or later, this world will be mine. You dare to collude with foreign powers? <laughs> That's still better than being labeled a grandmother killer. Your mom and you were both manipulated by Shirley's scheme. 
Shirley Armstrong, from the very beginning, from the military baton to the exposure at the Queen's birthday banquet, and even the grandmother, it was all her doing. You are already a fugitive. Why not go all out? I really want to kill her, but I can't get close to her tomorrow night. I will help you. You will have a chance by then. Your Highness, the Sun Kingdom armies are provoking us in our army near Vana. There's even close interactions of foreign envoys with people in the army. Why would Sun Kingdom army suddenly appear? I have a bad feeling about this. I have a lot of close friends in the army. It's hard to defend them without me. Wait for me. Then you should bring along Oscar and Mia. Okay. What's wrong, Your Highness? Are you not feeling well? Should I call the royal physician? No need to. What time is it now? It's midnight. Go and check whether Prince Jeremy is back yet. I have a bad feeling about this. Yes, Your Highness. Ugh! Run, Your Highness! Run? Today is your death! You shrew, I want you dead now. You won't go back in time even if you kill me. Your mother won't trust you either. How about we make a deal? You won't be able to turn back time even if you killed me. Your mother won't rather wreck either. How about we make a deal? I'll give you money and you'll leave now. You'll become a rich man and you don't have to seek death. Do you think I'll still believe your nonsense? Die! Jeremy! Jeremy! <laughs> Jeremy! Since you are willing to die, I grant your wish. Jeremy! Jeremy! How are you, Jeremy? Mia, go and bring a pile of hot water here. Don't move around, the wound is very deep. Don't worry. I won't die easily. Are you dumb? Why will you block that sword for me? Did you know, if the sword were to be a little deeper, you would really lose your life. Because you are my princess. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Don't go, please. Don't worry. I won't leave. Oscar and the guys are still outside. I'll go inform them so that they will be reassured. Okay, come back quickly. Don't worry, he won't die. He needs to rest now. Just don't bother him for now. I found something that belongs to Sun Kingdom from the killer. The crown prince wouldn't kill me so randomly. There must be someone ordering him. Pay close attention to anyone suspicious in the palace and report it to me. Yes, your highness. <laughs> prince Jeremy has killed the crown prince. Amazing, amazing. It's really so. My good brother was still quite useful before he died. Are you all ready and prepared? The news has spread. I believe the news of Prince Jeremy killing his own brother will spread all around the place early next morning. Very good. By then, we'll see what decisions father will make. If Jeremy is sent to jail, army Nirvana will be left without a leader. That is the perfect time for us to take advantage of the situation. What's the matter? Your Highness, rumors are spreading that Prince Jeremy ruthlessly killed his brother just to take the Crown Prince's place. Seems like the person behind all this can't wait any longer. Find someone to tell everyone what actually happened last night. We don't have to change the situation. As long as there are debates from both sides, it will be enough. I'm lost. I don't understand why we must do this. Aren't we giving the enemy a chance? Send a message to the Empress. She will help Prince Jeremy. Then what should we do about Prince Jordan's body? Should I get rid of it? Someone will come and take care of it. Tell the kitchen to prepare some porridge. Yes, your highness. Your majesty, Prince Jonathan was killed by Prince Jeremy last night. It has now spread all over the capital. What did you say? Jonathan was killed by Jeremy. Did you know that it's a death penalty to slander Prince Jeremy like that? Everything I've said is true. Majesty, this morning the rumors are all over the palace, saying Prince Jeremy killed a crown prince to take over his place. Someone come over! Bring Prince Jeremy here! Wait... Your Imperial Majesty... Mother, your body is still weak. Why don't you rest well? 
I've heard all about Jeremy. Jeremy isn't the one to do reckless things, not to mention killing his own brother ruthlessly. Besides, you've already given him the Crown Prince throne. Why would he do something stupid? I think there must be some misunderstandings. As a leader of a country, you can't be biased towards rumors. You should find out the truth. You are right, Mother. Dixon, invite Prince Jeremy to the palace. Yes, Your Majesty. Sir Dixon, I suppose you are here because of Prince Jonathan. Prince Jeremy is to enter the palace by His Majesty's orders. Sir Dixon, I'm afraid His Highness won't be able to go. Are you going to disobey His Majesty's orders? I wouldn't dare. Just like yesterday, Prince Jonathan bought intruders into Prince Jeremy's residence. And His Highness got stabbed by a sword. He's still unconscious. Take me to see Prince Jeremy. I must see it for myself. This way, Sir Dixon. Your Highness. You see it for yourself, Sir Dixon. Prince Jeremy indeed can't go into the palace to greet His Majesty. I will tell His Majesty the truth. This is a weapon from the assassin. Doesn't this weapon belong to Sun Kingdom? Is it possible that Prince Jonathan had ties with Sun Kingdom? If they had ties very early on, Her Majesty the Queen wouldn't do anything to the Empress. There must be someone building conflicts. I will report this to His Majesty. As for the body of Prince Jonathan, I'll take it back with me. Right this way, Sir Dixon. I'll take my leave. Dixon, why are you back alone? Where is Prince Jeremy? Response to Her Majesty, Prince Jeremy is wounded badly and is unconscious. I've already checked it with my own eyes. Therefore, His Highness couldn't come, but I brought back Prince Jonathan's corpse. It's right outside. No matter what, Your Majesty mustn't let Prince Jeremy off the hook easily for killing Prince Jonathan. Besides, there are rumors everywhere. Your Majesty, I found out that the assassins who helped Prince Jonathan were all from Sun Kingdom. They must be someone trying to do this on purpose. Prince Jonathan had ties with Sun Kingdom? Also, the moment Prince Jonathan died, people were spreading rumors immediately, saying Prince Jeremy killed his brother for the Crown Prince's throne. But didn't Your Majesty already agree to Prince Jeremy having the Crown Prince's throne? It seems that this is now clear. Sun Kingdoms must have used this case to make a big deal out of it. But since the assassination of Prince Jonathan is true, you too should go to check it out. Yes, Your Majesty. Mother, do you think I failed as an emperor? I couldn't even educate my son properly. Not everyone's perfect. Not mentioned to born in a royal family. It's normal to be greedy for power. But we must look into this matter of the foreign claim. It's not Jeremy's fault either. You must issue a royal decree to explain this ordeal clearly, so that people won't make fuss about it and put the royal family's reputation in danger. Don't worry, mother. I get it. Our father has issued a royal decree to explain everything. You'll never be framed again. Princess, I thought you'd expect that. What's wrong? But the only thing I didn't expect was for you to get hurt. This is called a heroic rescue. I told you, I'd stand in front of you and protect you. Prince Jeremy, go to the race course, run 100 laps and come back, or run 200 laps. It's just a big deal. We found Prince Jonathan's location at a post station outside the palace, secretly meeting with the Sun Kingdom envoys. So, he's the one who's been colluding with the Sun Kingdom. He also influenced the Crown Prince. I should have known. Don't worry about him. Not only that, but give him a chance. Let's see what he wants. This, do as Princess Shirley says. Yes. What? His Majesty has promised to appoint Prince Jeremy as a crown prince. How could you not realize such important news? I'm doing this for nothing. It's not your place to interfere here. Who do you think you are? You are just a spy for Latveria. If it weren't for Duke Duncan's honor, you'd be dead in no time. Don't be angry, Yungle. I didn't realize Prince Jeremy is backed by the Empress. We haven't been exposed yet. When I get a chance, I kill him. I'll wait for your good news then. Shirley Armstrong, Jeremy. You'll see. Jeremy, you've been crowned in front of all the royal officials today. From now on, you will be the crown prince of Latveria. I'm tired. After all these, so please take care of the affairs of the dynasty for me. And don't let me down. I will honor father's trust and be a loving and virtuous crown prince. Mother, I didn't realize that the full daughter of the Armstrongs was a real phoenix maiden. 
I'll be waiting for you to create a prosperous world. Thank, Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. I heard that the princess was buried with Prince Jeremy during the marriage. Our royal family owns your wedding gift. That's right. This is a good idea, Mother. It's about time to have a wedding in the palace. Thank, Thank you, Father. You, Father. Grandmother. Grandmother. To start this, I'll have the High Commissioner choose an appropriate date for your wedding. Father, I would like to make a small proposal. There's no harm in speaking up. Now that the Song Kingdom has yet to be detected, I would like to use my wedding with Prince Jeremy to draw the enemy out of their hideouts, so that they will be caught at once. So please set our wedding at the Crown Prince residence after seven days. I agree. Thank, Thank you, you fa Father. Prince Jeremy, Princess Shirley. What's all the fuss about? Someone in the army near Vanna stole the map yesterday. He was caught, but. He's dead. Good. Keep following up. If there's any news, report it immediately. Yes. I really can't say anything. It seems my mission will be accomplished if I pass the last stage. You aren't still thinking about a divorce, are you? Hey. Don't work too hard. It's incredible that modern people work based on 996 basis. Ancient people had to work without timing. Since you are in a high position, it's always harder than others. But don't overwork yourself. I don't want to be a widow at an early age. The Sun Kingdom has been causing chaos lately. And many of our previous defense measures have been betrayed to the Sun Kingdom by Prince Jordan. Luckily, I've rearranged most of the defense. Otherwise, the people would have suffered. Prince Jordan's path has come to an end, and he'll be caught soon. Modern times are better. At least our father and siblings love us. My good prince, don't think too much. The most important thing now is to put more effort into the wedding, so that people will think you've let your guard down and start to feel satisfied. It's almost the end, and here we are, acting again. Mm. But I do want to be a ravishing crown prince for once. Then, your highness, your princess is now ready. Your highness, your wedding gown is so beautiful. Why are you crying on the most joyous day? I don't know. When I think that Prince Jeremy will be able to marry Princess Shirley, I feel so happy. It's alright. I know I'm a beautiful lady, and I'm loved by everyone. Don't forget the task I've given you. Yes, yes your, your highness. highness. According to the spies in army Nirvana, Prince Jeremy is arrogant, and his mind is totally focused on a marriage tomorrow. Can army Nirvana help us break through? Tomorrow, the crown prince's residence will be their funeral ground. Then, you will be the new king. <laughs> Thank you for your kind words. Thanks to Euphoria for me. As long as I'm crowned, I always look up to the Sun Kingdom. Now that the matter is settled, we are back to reality. If you want to be together, the prince will die. Why? Why is this happening? Your Highness, if this is the case, Prince Jeremy is waiting for you. All right, Jeremy. Then I will accompany you on your final journey and protect you for the rest of your life. The bride has arrived. <laughs> it's time for me 
to be the king of this kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe we fell for your cunning plan. Prince Jordan, I've been waiting for you. Jordan, this is just a trap to get you in. You've come to the end of your journey. You can't kill me, or else some kingdom will send troops. Latveria is a great kingdom. Would we be afraid of a small kingdom like yours? Father, please let me go. I was just lost in my own world. Take Prince Jordan and the Sun Kingdom envoys into jail and wait for punishment. Father, 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 please forgive me, father. All right, let's continue with the marriage. <laughs> Are you leaving? You know it? I saw it. What happened to you? I took the poison. I want to leave with you. Jeremy! 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 Shirley! Shirley! Jeremy, what are you doing back here? It's difficult for me to win in the kingdom for you. I almost thought you were dead. What's the point of winning the kingdom but losing you? All I want is you, my burial princess. <laughs> 